Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy in English and this is the lecture number 6. I hope you are going to discuss some problems as well. Uh, some problems uh, in which uh, there are uh, discuss this uh, exercise again. Uh, this is exercise what we had discussed uh, 6.3 and now question number 8 is there. So let us start with question number 8 only. And question number eight is given where uh, more than two equations are given. Uh, till now, we have learned the inequalities in which there are two inequalities, but here there are more than two. So y is greater than x and x is greater than equal to zero. So three inequalities are given here, three equations. And how to deal with such questions where then there are more than two equations? So we can plot the graph for it again. And this is a very simple one that we can do that because <coughs> and this is x axis here y axis this is we can take value of x and y here x is 0 y is 9 and x is uh, y is 0 then x is 9 x uh, y is equal to x the uh, subsidiary equation is 9 minus y then it x plus y is equal to 9 and here y is equal to x this is a line passing through origin and x is equal to 0 here this is a y axis x is equal to 0 is nothing else but y axis and another line is passing through origin so that is this type of line that is passing through origin x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 and y is equal to x is a line passing through origin and making an angle of 45 degree with um, x axis right now having slope you know that and even you don't know this you can put value of x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 then y is equal to 1 isn't it like that so one equation is this this is uh, the equation of line y is equal to x and x 0 y 9 y 0 x 9 that will be a line which will be like this that is a line which is like this right like this okay so this is a line x plus y is equal to 9 here this is 9 comma 0 and that is 0 comma 9 now let us check the inequalities what the inequality says so if i put here 0 0 then 0 plus 0 is less than 9 so this is true so this is uh, determining towards the origin if x is greater than 0 x is greater than 0 in this direction only right now and uh, this one is y is equal to x because since it is passes through origin so 0 cannot be taken any point can be taken from either this side or that side if i took 9 0 x is 9 and y is 0 so then this is satisfied 9 is greater than 0 so from this side point is satisfying means below this one and this side and above x axis so this is the region which will coming out that below this this is the region you know this type of region will come and since it is greater than x axis so it will be like this and it is represented here now let us discuss some more question question number 9 question number 9 9 question is given 5x plus 4y is less than equal to 3 equations can be 5x plus 4y is equal to 20 x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2. Now let us and uh, graph of this can be plotted here by using this. Uh, what earlier we did here. So if uh, we make a table for it and x is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 y is equal to 5 right now when y is equal to 0 5 4 z 20 x is equal to 4 so this is a point x 0 y 5 and y 0 x 0 y 5 and x 4 y 0 so we can have a line like x is 0 y is 5 like this you know so the graph will be like this one right because x is 5 and y is slightly less so graph can be like this only okay this is a line that is called 5x plus 4y is equal to 
this is the line that can be described as 5x plus 4y is equal to 20. Now there is another line x is equal to 1. So x is equal to 1 can be a line that is parallel to y axis, isn't it? So this is a line parallel to y axis, x is equal to 1. This is a y is equal to 2 is another line, third line y is equal to 2 and y is equal to 2 is a line <coughs> that will be parallel to x axis. So this will be y is equal to 2. I hope you got it. So this is y is equal to 2. Now we have to check for inequality that which inequality will satisfy. So if you put 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 is less than 20. So this line says towards the origin. This line says towards the origin. This is what 0, 5 and this is 4, 0. So this is towards the origin. And this one x is greater than 1. So this will be towards this side, right? This side. And y is greater than 2 y is greater than 2 so it will be above this y axis this one above this one okay above this one so common region is in between this is the common region where all of them will satisfy together and that will be answer of this question Bridges shows shaded region shows feasible solution shows feasible solution solution right I got it and I hope you got it also no need to find the another table for this one equation now question number 10 is there 3x plus 4y is less than 60 less than equal to 60 x plus 3y is less than equal to 30 x is greater than 0 y is also greater than 0 so there are four inequalities four conditions so subsidiary equations corresponding equations can be written as the corresponding equations can be written as 3x plus 4y is equal to 60 x plus 3y is equal to 30 x plus 4 equations so let us draw we have to make a table for this one so let us draw a table for it and that table can be made for this one is like this so here uh, we can have like if I put here, this is the value, right? So that will be x and y. I hope you got it. So value for x and y, this is x, this is y. Now if you put x is equal to 0, then y is 60 divided by 4, that is 15. And if you put y 0, y 0, then x is equal to 20. So 20 and 15, these are the big values which will come in and uh, table for this one is also this is table for 3x now you have to also make table for x plus 3y is equal to 20 so again there is another table can be made so for this uh, x y y and value of x is equal to 0 then y is equal to 10 and when y is equal to 0 then x is 30 so we have to find big values and so accordingly we can take the uh, <coughs> graphs but both so all of them are lying in first quadrant only but even then we should go for the x coordinate is 20 and y coordinate x coordinate is big one right 30 and x is 20 as well so here is the graph and we can plot it like x axis right now this is and this one is y axis and this one is x axis this one is y axis, right? This is x dash and this is y dash, right? So x is g, uh, 30 and y 0. x 30 y 0 will lie somewhere like this, say 30 comma 0. If I take a scale, x 0 y 10 is just one third of it. So 0 and 10 will be there. Now, um, if I plot the graph, with respect to this then we have a line which will pass through these two points right yes. this line x plus 3y is equal to 30 
Now x is 0, y is 15. So x 0, y 15 is somewhere uh, about this. So 0, 15 is here. And x 20, y 0. x 20, y 0 is somewhere like this. Right? And this is 20, 0. And this is 0, 15. So another line passes through these two points. Right now. So what will happen and how it will happen. Let me draw this line. This line will be like this. Right. So now x is greater than 0, y is greater than 0. x is equal to 0 is the equation of y axis and y is equal to 0 is the equation of x axis. x greater than 0, y greater than 0 means uh, lies in first quadrant only. Right now. Now what about these two lines? So whether they are satisfying or not. So here 0 plus 0 is 0 less than 60 that is satisfying and 0 plus 0 is less than 30 both are satisfying. So both are saying towards the origin. This line is saying towards the origin. This line is saying towards the origin. Right. So uh, lesser than this and greater than this. So this is a feasible. This is a feasible solution which satisfy all the characteristics. You know. <coughs> Thus, the shaded region, shaded region, satisfy, satisfy all inequalities, qualities. Hence, it is feasible solution, feasible solution. Right. Okay. So this is the question number. The question which is given here. Let us solve this question. Question number 11. And question number 11 is given that 2x plus 4 and then x plus y is less than equal to 3. And the third equal inequality is given that 2x minus 3y is less than equal to 6. So we have to make three table corresponding to these three equations and thereafter let me write here in vertical. So first one is <coughs> this is a table. Right for it. Now this is a table for it. You can make a table for it. And uh, there will be one more table for this also. Right. So let me rearrange them. Now here is a question and this is a question that 2x plus y is greater than 4, x plus y is less than equal to 3 and 2x minus 3y is greater than 6. So the generic equations of all these can be written as 2x plus y is equal to 4 and if I put a x a value of x and y, x is equal to 0 then y is 4 and if y is 0 then x is 2. Now, a generic question of this will be x plus y is equal to 3 and if you put the value of x is 0, y is 3 and y is 0, then x is 3. Here, 2x minus 3y is equal to 6. If you put x is equal to 0, then uh, y is minus 2 and if y is equal to 0, then x is equal to 3. So, these are few values which here we have to uh, discuss. This is equation 1 and this is equation 2 and this is equation 3. So, three inequalities are there. <coughs> First, let me draw the graph of this. So, to draw a graph of it, uh, we have like uh, the first line is 0, 3 and 3, 0. 0, 3 and 3, 0 is the line which will be like this. Right? 0, 3 and 3, 0 is the line which will pass through um, say this is 3, comma 0 and this is 0, comma 3 like this. Now x is 0 and y is 4. This line is said to be x plus y is equal to 3. x 0 y 4 is slightly above this and x 2 y 0. So that will be a line which will pass through uh, like these two points right now. So x 4 y 0 like this. This will be a line which will pass through slightly above this, like this. This is a 0, 4. That will be point 0, 4, and this will be 2, 0, right? 
this one is 3 comma 0 so let me write here the same So this is 3 comma 0 right here. And uh, this one is just this. Okay. So let me write this. Now the third equation is x0, y minus 2 is the point which will lie below the origin. 0 minus 2 is this point right now x0 y minus 2 and x3 y0 that is this point so 3 0 so this line will pass through like this uh, passing through 3 0 and also uh, towards this and uh, moreover this will pass through now to find feasibility of the solution here x0 y0 0 0 0 is greater than this line h nothing else but uh, 2x minus 3 y is equal to 6 so this is 2x minus 3 y is equal to 6 this line h 2x minus 3 y 2x minus 3 y is equal to 6 so if i put here 0 0 0 0 is greater than 4 that is not possible so 2x plus y is the line and this one is line this line is called 2x plus y is equal to 4. So this will not satisfy towards the origin. So this will say above this line, right? Above this line. And now x plus y is less than 0. So this is below this line, right? This is below line and above this line. And this one, uh, if I took 0, 0, then 0 plus 0, this is towards the origin. So it is above this line, you know? So above this line, right, above this line and uh, above this line and below this line. So this is a common region which is satisfying. So this is a common region which is satisfying. That is satisfying all above the x-axis, below this and this is a common region which will satisfy. So the shaded region shows the feasible solution. You know, this is what we can do. The shaded region search. Shaded region is feasible solution. Feasible solution of all these inequalities. I hope you got it. Now let us discuss question number 12. And what is this? Try to understand. And let me write this question x, x minus 2y is less than or equal to 3. The second equation is 3x plus 4y. 3x plus 4y is greater than or equal to 12. And the third one is x is greater than 0. x is greater than 0. And y is, y is less greater than 1. And y is greater than 1. So we have to make here two table. And so let me draw the table first. The corresponding equations can be written as x minus 2y is equal to 3 and 3x plus 4y is equal to 12. So these are corresponding equations. Let us make a table for it. So we have a table like 1 of them and another is for second one. <coughs> Now we have to fill this table and in this table uh, we can have a value x and y. So if x is equal to 0, y is what x is equal to 0, y is minus 3 by 2 that is minus 1.5. And if y is equal to 0 then x is 3. Similarly here if uh, I put the value of x and y, x is equal to 0 then y is 3 and y is equal to 0 then x is 4 and this is x is equal to x is greater than 0 and y is greater than 1. This is the another three equation. x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 1. So x is equal to 0 is the line which is a y axis and y is equal to 1 is a line that will be parallel to this one. y is equal to 1 is a line this one. This is y is equal to 1. So uh, we can write it y is equal to 1, this is the line. 
Okay, now we have to plot with the value for this x0, y3. x0, y3 is a point here somewhere. And x4, y0. So it will be lying x3, y0, x0, y3 and x4, y0 like this. This will be the line. So this is a point 4, comma 0 and this is a point which is 0, comma 3 and the line is said to be this line is nothing else but the <coughs> what is the name of the line that is 3x plus 4y is equal to 12 4y is equal to 12 this is the line now the another line is there and which will be coming <coughs> with the help of x is equal to 0 y is 1.5 1.5 is somewhere like this So there is a point, uh, this is a 0, comma, uh, 0, comma, what is the point? This point is described as 0, comma, minus 1.5, isn't it? And this point is passing through 3, 0. So x is 3, y is 0, 3, 0, right? And uh, that will be y is equal to 1. This is line given that 3x plus 4 y is equal to 12. Now let us see the region <coughs> and x is equal to 0. This line, you know that. So, what is the region? X is greater than 0 means this side. Right now, X is greater than 0 means this side. <coughs> y is greater than 1. It means the above this line. Above this line. Y is greater than 1. This above this line. And if uh, this line is satisfying that is 0, 4 and 4, 0. 0 plus 0 is greater than 12. That is not satisfying. So, it is above this away from this not towards origin right now and this line 0 plus 0 is satisfying that is 0 plus 0 is less than 3 0 minus 0 is less than 3 so it will be towards this right now away from this so above this above this line above this line this line is there so the common region will come like this is the common region which will satisfy all the characteristics right now so this is the region which will satisfy all the characteristics and uh, you can have solutions or this yes, this is the feasible solutions we can draw it right now because it is above the y-axis it is above the x uh, greater than x g is equal to zero and this is above this line and uh, this line is also satisfying so all of them are satisfying these conditions so it will be this right Yes. Uh, okay. Now this one. So this will satisfy all the conditions. So this is a feasible region, and that will give the solutions of this question. So I hope you got this right now. Got this, understood this well, right? Now. And uh, you will be able to do the questions quickly. Right? Okay. So the shaded region gives the feasible solution. So here I can write the shaded region. The shaded region, <coughs> shaded region gives feasible solution, gives feasible solution, feasible, <coughs> the shaded region gives the feasible solution, shaded region gives feasible, feasible solution of inequality. I hope you got it. Now 13 I am giving living for homework and I am uh, going to solve 14 questions. This is a slightly bit uh, more equations. So let me write this question. And 14 question this is 3x plus 2y is less than 150. The, there is another equation and the second equation is x plus 4y is less than 180. Is less than 80 right now. And the third equation is x is less than 15. And the fourth one is <coughs> y is greater than 0 and x is greater than 0. y is greater than 0 and x is greater than 0. So these are few equations which is given. Let me draw a table for respective one. Let us plot the graph. And for this secondary equation will be 3x plus 2y is equal to 150. For this secondary equation will be x plus 4y is equal to 80. 
and the cjx is equal to 15 and y is greater than 0 x is greater than 0 that is x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 plus 1 that is y is equal to 0 and this one is x is equal to 0. So these are the equations. Now uh, we have to put the values corresponding to it. So if I put x is equal to 0, the value of x and y is there. If I put x is equal to 0, then y is 75. And if I put y is equal to 0, then x is 50. So value is bigger one. Now if I put here x and y, then uh, for x is equal to 0, y is 20. And for y is equal to 0, x is 80. So this is also point. So these are the points we have to formulate. Means maximum x is required 80 and maximum y is required 75. So we can uh, think about this and uh, accordingly we can plot the graph. So here if x is 0, y is 75. Y is 75, x is 0. Like this here is a point 0 and 75. And uh, x is 50, y is 0. So we can plot a graph like passing through the 75 and 0 and this is a 51 passing through 50 and okay so this is a line passing through here this point is 50 comma 0 right so <coughs> x0 y20 is somewhere like this and uh, somewhere like this 0 20 and x80 y0 so line will be passing from this one you know so this one will be the line you know and that will be the passing from 0 20 and 80 0 so we can do this okay so this point is <coughs> this one is 20 and this one is 80, so like this okay so i hope you got it and uh, you can plot this on your graph so gra it will be easier to plot on graph so this will be 80 comma 0 80 comma 0 and this will be 0 comma 20 okay now the third is x is equal to 15 x is equal to 15 is a line what is that line x is equal to 15 is a line parallel to y axis so that will be a line which is parallel to y axis so that will be x is equal to 15 x is less than 15 so this line will be slightly this because this is a 15 50 so that must be 50. okay so this is called x is equal to 50 this line is x is equal to 50 okay and now oh, x is greater than 0 y is greater than 0 it is given that x is less than 15 means this side right now x is less than 15 means this side 0 0 satisfying yes so from this line this word and this will also satisfy 0 0 so this word so all of them towards origin and greater than 15 less than origin and x is greater than 0 that is this direction y is greater than 0 that is this direction so this is a common feasible solutions which is obtained from here right now this is a common feasible solutions which will satisfy both of them in graph you can plot it properly but here this is a common feasible solutions which is greater than 0 x is greater than 0, y is greater than 0, x is less than 15, this one is also, this one is also. So all of them are satisfying this condition. Although there is no use of this, but still this is the equation which is given and here we can write the solution stage given by this feasible region. So I hope you uh, got this all and you understood it well. Thanks a lot. <coughs> right now, this is uh, um, all about it this class and one more questions 15 and 13 i am leaving for you that you will solve in uh, your own and uh, definitely you'll be able to solve it uh, i'm very much sure about this so whether the equation is useful or useless you have to plot all those equations and demark them and uh, uh, what i did here 
article but i have not written here the name of the equations that is also required so here uh, for 75 and all this equation is 3x plus 2y is equal to 150 you need to write it and this equation is x plus 4y is equal to this equation is this one is x plus 4y is equal to 80 so you need to write equations as well right now so this one is this one and this one this one x is greater than 0 also y is equal to 0 is the x axis you need to write here x is equal to 0 is y axis that you know also need to write here everything must be demarcated and a scale don't forget to write a scale here also so i hope you got this and two questions i left for you you will be able to solve it surely thank you thank you very much god bless